Thanks. You know, Mother, you really could have picked a better time. I was right in the middle of an Oedipal dream. Cassie, is that you? Okay, let me see what I can do. You come up and wait outside the door. Okay. Nighty night, Mommy. Everything all right, Kara? Everybody get to your rooms, to your rooms, please. Coming through, coming through. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Man, it wasn't my fault. I thought it was a dream. Shazam. Boy, has she got a snoopful. You know, my Ralph likes to take a sip now and then. Norma, have I ever met your Ralph? Sure. At least I think you have. Well, he's on the road a lot. Love him. He is such a fun guy, my Ralph. He says there are more old drunks than there are old doctors. He's right. What do they know, anyway? Doctors. <laughs> I make a better shrink than any of the quacks around this joint. Clear the place out in 15 minutes flat. Take a desk job, Frank. Oh, kids, if you drive a bus. Can't see it off the heroin, Abdul. It's right in your brain. Ludwig, join the mafia. Put your talents to use. Next. Send the next patient. Oh, Tinkerbell is coming. Calic wire. Repent, Calic wire. Tinkerbell is Renounce coming. Renounce sin oh. and go home. Oh, Calic you're from Tinkerbell. That's what you have to do, honey. Uh -huh. You just renounce sin, uh -huh. that's all. Girl. And everything will be okay. Uh -huh. Everything will be okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, everything all right in here? Sure thing. Everything's fine. I didn't see Cassie come in. How long has she been here? Hours and hours. Just ask Mrs. Kelquire. Come on, ladies. I think we've had enough confusion for one night. Come on, let's go back to our rooms. Night, Cassie. 
Get yourself a new Cassie, Cassie. Because the old one sure has fallen apart. You're going to kick me out? What do you think I ought to do? What's the difference? You think I enjoy living in this cracker factory? Very well. Wait a minute. I'm not ready to go home. I agree. Okay. I, uh... I admit it. Um, I can't... The drinking. I, uh... I just don't seem to be able to control it anymore. I, I've started drinking even when I don't want to. I can't even face the supermarket without having a couple of jolts. If Charlie were to leave me now, I couldn't even take care of myself. Well, help me, Dr. Alexander. I don't know what to do. I think you do know what to do. I told you, I'm not calling them. What about shock treatments? Maybe that would help me. You'd try almost anything, wouldn't you? You'd actually rather be thought of as psychotic, as crazy, than simply admit what you really are. Well, just what am I? Well, you tell me. What? That's not telling, that's asking. Listen, do you suppose we could uh, get off this subject? Okay. How's this? Tom Donnelly called me this morning. Tom called you? Mm-hmm. He said he'd been talking to you on the phone, that you sounded upset. Was there anything he could do? Cassie, I thought you were going to get rid of him. He called. That shows he cares, doesn't it? No, I think he's only afraid that you're out of control. And that you might tell your husband you've been seeing him. I'm sure Charlie already suspects. I've certainly given him enough chances to find out. He's just too noble to say anything. Wouldn't it be simpler to talk to Charlie about the anger you feel for him? Is it necessary to kick his head in like this? I don't think I like this subject either. May I please go back to my room? No. Not yet. This, uh, anonymous, boozer's anonymous thing, does it really work? Mm-hmm. I've seen it work in cases where we doctors haven't been able to accomplish anything. Okay. I'll, uh, Give him a call this afternoon. Why don't you call him right now? Why are you still feeling guilty about getting drunk last night? That's not psychotherapy, Edwin. That's blackmail. I know. If it works, I'll write a book on the technique. What are you looking so smug about? Just because you've got it all figured out. Slipping off into a coma is not the answer for everyone, you know? I mean, I'm glad it's worked out well for you. I'm not giving up Tom Donnerly, either. I don't care what you say. What Dr. Alexander says. What does he know about Tom, anyway? About how he makes me feel. Good, that's how. Whole and stable. That's got to count for something, you know? When I'm with Tom, I don't drink. Never. I don't need to. Because for that one day a week when I'm with him, I'm a woman I enjoy being. Desirable and intelligent and 
mature and independent and uninhibited and normal. Normal? Yes, damn it, normal. If you're normal, then I'm Sleeping Beauty. All right, maybe it is an illusion, but so what? At least for one day a week, I can get out of my house and get out of myself. I can get out of my own skin. I can soar above myself. Mrs. Caliguire, did you say something? Very funny. And we really move our tail for you. Go oh, away, Carol. Let me disintegrate in peace. No kidding. He really sounds neat, this town person. He is neat. Yeah? So why don't you run away with him? I would. But I don't think I could live with his fatal flaw. What's that? He cheats on his wife. Is it for you, Mrs. Barrett? Lady from the Alcoholics Anonymous. Should I send her over? Boy, they sure don't waste any time, do they? Last door on the right. Thank you. Come in. Dr. Klein, paging Dr. Klein. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm a recovered alcoholic. Hi, I'm Kara. I'm an infomaniac. And if I ever recover, I'll throw myself off the high-level bridge. Uh, we had a call from a Mrs. Cassie Barrett. Oh, is she a... Oh, no, no, no. She's just a little blood hoe, that's all. She heard you were coming and went out to celebrate. I see. Well, now, look, um, this is the AA Bible. Uh, perhaps when she wakes up, she might want to look at it. Mm, she hasn't had much luck with Bibles. Well, suppose we let her decide for herself. Okay. Speed reader. Uh, Miss. Okay, if you don't mind, it's just about our cookie hour. Now, you know how you that know, is? The meetings are listed in the back of the okay. book. We'll check it out. Thanks so much for coming. Change my points and plugs. Oh, wow. Don't say I never saved your life. See ya. See ya. waiting in your room? Priest? Oh, Father Sorella. I was hoping he'd stop by to talk. Is he young? Kind of cute? Father Dunhill. He says he's your pastor. Now, if he's going to upset you in any way, I can ask him to leave. Upsets me? Why would he upset me? Just because through 12 years of religious classes, he scared the hell out of me. 